Hello my dear students, good morning. Now we will discuss about uh, extraction of metals by electrolysis process. As I said, alkali metals available in the, in the form of combined state because they are highly reactive. They can easily combine with the oxygen, they can easily combine with hydrogen. So as I said, they are highly reactive and one more important thing, why, what is the reason uh, for the high reactivity means I told you they have one extra electron so they can easily lose one electron so that's why alkali metals always exist in combined state as I said NaCl sodium chloride available in C as a common salt everybody knows that okay so from that how to extract a particular metal pure sodium I want what to do I will explain now okay so for that there is a process that is Okay, that is electrolysis. What is that? Electrolysis of fused, fused NaCl. So this is a very important. Fused, fused, fused three times. Why is it? Aqueous means in presence of water. Fused means only that uh, dissolved state. That is meaning no water here. Okay, no water, non aqueous, you can say otherwise. Aqueous NaCl means sodium chloride in water, that is the main important thing you have to remember. Okay, so electrolysis means actually happens in electrolytic cell. Electrolytic cell means uh, generally it consists of uh, anode and cathode like this. Okay. So this is one small dubber, okay, small beaker, like this. So simple diagram, rough diagram I'm drawing here. So here you have a anode. So, sorry, anode means what everybody knows. What is anode? Anode means a positive electrode. So this is plus. And the cathode means a negative electrode. So here you have a cathode. So I'm a great artist. So basically diagrams I'll draw beautifully. So you can also try, okay, like this, don't know what I am joking. So here you have uh, some battery like this and here you have some okay, cap like this, okay, okay, cap you have and here some anode protector you have, just coated with some platinum like that and here also cathode cathode protector you have like this okay and here you have one outlet like this this is the outlet at anode what gas will come out I'll tell you chlorine <coughs> okay so you have bad what this is called this is a, a cathode and this is what anode actually Okay, here I, I just uh, filled with, uh, filled with what? Fused NaCl. Fused NaCl actually. What is this? Fused NaCl you have. Okay. Fused NaCl you have to fill like this. Completely. Okay. Fused NaCl on electrolysis. Electrolysis means you are sending some current then what happened NaCl will split into Na plus and Cl minus ok nicely covered your thinking no it's very good diagram so here what we taken here so this is fused NaCl fused sodium chloride so now what happens on electrolysis first on electrolysis first NaCl will split into we are sending some current now so suddenly NaCl will split into Na plus plus Cl minus actually Cl2 will come so for that uh, two chlorines required understanding what I am saying I will take two moles like this ok because Cl2 will come understood 
So first on electrolysis, this fused NaCl what we take in, means on sending current, what happens? That particular NaCl will split into cation and anion. Cation is Na plus, anion is Cl minus. So at anode, towards anode some ions will go, towards cathode some ions will go. What ions will go? Let's see. So at anode first. At anode. What is anode? Anode is a positive electrode or negative electrode? Positive electrode. Anode is a positive electrode. Cathode is a negative electrode. So towards positive, this is the positive electrode. Towards positive, who will go? General. So you know already, towards positive, negative will go. Towards negative, positive will go. This is a universal fact, everybody knows. So, anode is a positive electrode. So, towards anode, negative ions, these are called anions or not? Cl minus is an anion. Na plus is a cation. Okay. So, anode is a positive electrode means suddenly Cl minus will move towards anode or not? Cl minus will move towards anode. So, Cl minus will convert to Cl2 plus 2 electrons. Negative ions Certainly, already uh, it has a sufficient electron. So, Cl minus have to lose electron. So, at anode what happens means oxidation takes place. What takes place? Oxidation takes place. I remember this one. At anode, oxidation takes place. How you are saying, sir, this is oxidation? See, loss of electron is called oxidation or not? Otherwise, in redox reactions we learn minus 1 here, 0 here. Chlorine combined state, oxidation state is 0 I told, minus 1 to 0, oxidation state increased, so oxidation. Only one possibility, otherwise can it take electron? Sir, uh, please give electrons, so Cl minus will become Cl minus 2. That won't happen. Correct what I am saying? So Cl minus already opted, so it have to lose electron and it have to convert into Cl2 chlorine diatomic gas. So at anode, oxidation takes place. Now, without wasting time, I will clarify here. At anode, what gas liberated chlorine gas? Arrow mark above means liberated gas. Arrow downwards means precipitate. Please remember all these things. So Cl minus converted Cl2 set at, at anode. Anode is positive, so negative ions mode. And those negative ions will lose electron and convert it to this neutral diatomic gas. So that Cl2 gas was liberated. This is the outlet I given. And uh, at this outlet I shown here Cl2. Hope you understood what I said here. So at anode, final conclusion, chlorine gas liberated. So now at cathode. At cathode. So cathode means what? Cathode is a negative electrode. Cathode is what? Negative electrode. So, negative electrode, cathode. So, towards negative, which ions will move? Positive ions. So, Na plus ions will move towards cathode. So, these Na plus ions will convert it to, so here already positive. Sodium Na plus, we know that everyone, Na plus means octet. It cannot lose electron again. So, by taking two electrons. Here two electrons was removed now. Liberated two electrons at anode or not? Those electrode will move from this. Oh my god. Sorry. This is positive is anode and the negative is sorry guys. Many people I think watching from last five minutes are anode anode cathode return like that. Sorry. Okay, plus is anode and minus is cathode. Okay, so at cathode, now cathode means negative. So from anode to cathode, electrons will move. Please take this diagram properly, please. Sorry. Okay, Na plus ions, which are called cations or not, tell me. These cations at cathode will take electron and convert it to sodium. Why two moles I written understood? So to have one more, you, I can take one more also, then one Cl minus, here I have write half and here I have take one electron, both are correct. And two Na, sodium will deposit. So free sodium and uh, pure form of uh, 
pure form of sodium deposited at cathode so here you have a pure form of uh, sodium here here what you have pure sodium will deposit at cathode so what happens during electrolysis of fused NaCl NaCl is dissociating as Na plus and Cl minus at anode anode is a positive electrode and at anode oxidation takes place and at cathode what happens a reduction takes place please remember these two points very much useful we will use regularly in chemistry okay so at anode oxidation takes place and at cathode reduction takes place both are very important at anode Cl minus ions will move because anode is positive Cl minus lost electron converted to Cl2 okay chlorine gas liberated at cathode remember this why I am saying like this what gas liberated like that they'll ask you questions and at cathode cathode is a negative so here Na plus will take electron and convert it to sodium like this hope you understood okay so this is electrolysis of uh, fused NaCl now only I'll tell you if you use fused KCl potassium will come understanding that's why I written heading here extraction of metal but it's a everyone okay so this is about anode reaction and cathode reaction how sodium is depositing that is a question actually where sodium metal will deposit cathode where chlorine glass um, not glass sorry chlorine gas will liberate at anode like that okay very very important and uh, what gas liberated and where oxidation takes place where reduction takes place these all things are very very important now have a screenshot okay draw the diagram now next okay please uh, have a screenshot next i will give you electrolysis of aqueous nacl electrolysis of what aqueous nacl only cathode reaction will change why i'll tell you so now i will explain electrolysis of aqueous nacl this method electrolysis of aqueous nacl is called nelson's cell this diagram same diagram but instead now fused instead what i added in this what i taken in this aqueous nacl aqueous means everybody and you know now everyone so NaCl in water that is the meaning now pure form of sodium will come let's see what will come so here I will write this also now ok so let's see what will come here and what is the reason behind it now one more outlet you will have at the cathode so now in previous sodium metal was deposited that won't happen here H2 gas will come out why i will tell you reason so same story during electrolysis of aqueous NaCl also NaCl aqueous so Na uh, on electrolysis means on um, on um, on that particular process means when you send some current NaCl will dissociate as Na plus and uh, Cl minus now aqueous state now NaCl in water now Na plus in water, Cl minus in water, but in previous infused state there is no water. Please remember this one. So during electrolysis of this aqueous NaCl, anode reaction is quite same. No change. So at anode means what happens? Anode is uh, positive towards anode that Cl minus will move and Cl minus suddenly undergo oxidation by loss of electron so chlorine gas liberated at anode even during electrolysis of aqueous NaCl aqueous NaCl electrolysis also you are getting chlorine gas only at anode now at cathode what happens this is the most important thing at cathode reduction only happen but here you have two one is Na plus aqueous and one is water okay so Na plus its SRP value 
and SRP value means you know this is E naught E naught and the water SRP value this is also E naught so here SRP value of uh, Na plus is more than water it is a minus 1 point uh, some 0 4 something V but here it is uh, plus something plus value plus 0 point uh, uh, 3 to something be like this 3 to or 3 1 or like that so whose SRP is less Na plus SRP is less water SRP so it's very clear water SRP is greater than SRP of Na plus why I am explaining this Water and Na plus, if you compare SRP value, standard reduction potential I was explained in redox reactions, correct? Just previously. So, water SRP is more. This is more SRP. So, who have more SRP, that will undergo reduction. So, why I am explaining at cathode negative, negative electrode, certainly Na plus ions, Na plus ions, uh, present at cathode present at cathode but Na plus ions will not undergo reduction because water is present water can undergo reduction more easily than Na plus so Na plus will go back and water will undergo reduction Sir, in previous infused NaCl, why then Na plus undergo reduction means no other person is there. Okay. So, in previous, suppose I am driving car. So, at that time I don't have a driver. Even I am a slow driver, me only have to drive. If I have a driver, he, he is a better driver than me, then he will drive and I will sit. Like that. Here, in aqueous NaCl, Na plus is me. What is a driver? In previous, infused NaCl, there is no driver. Now, I have a driver. Who is that? What? In this. So, at cathode, negative electrode, at cathode, what happens? Na plus ions, even there, Na plus ions won't undergo reduction. Water will undergo reduction. What I said understood? The reason behind it is, water SRP value is more don't for, remember, don't buy have these values of sodium sulfate, it's minus 0 0.4, minus, minus 1.04. No, no enough for those things. Okay, Na plus SRP is less and water SRP is more, so water will undergo reduction. I told you, SRP who have more, more the SRP, more will be the reduction ability. Means that can undergo reduction. Who have less SRP, that will undergo oxidation. Very clear. But here, oxidation not possible. Because chlorine already there, and chlorine already oxidized. Because here electrons are there to reduction, there for reduction. And however, Na plus now cannot undergo oxidation. Na can undergo oxidation. Na plus cannot lose electron. Because Na plus already its oxidation state fixed, already plus one, alkali metals. I told you already. What I am saying, understanding? Sir, less no sir, can it undergo oxidation? You will ask me otherwise. Now, not possible. Because Na plus ions are there. If Na is there, then it undergo oxidation. So Na plus is there here. Okay, so Na plus ions present at cathode, so they can not undergo reduction. Water will undergo reduction. Reason also I told. So now what happens at cathode? Now reaction, cathode reaction, you can say. At cathode, what happens? Cathode reaction. What is cathode reaction? Reduction. Who will undergo reduction? Who have more SRP? Who have more SRP among these? Water. So water will take electrons and convert it to H2 plus 2OH minus. So what gas liberated? H2 gas. So H2 gas liberating at anode or cathode? H2 gas liberating at cathode. Cl2 gas liberating at anode, 
during aqueous NaCl electrolysis what gases liberate means liberates means chlorine gas liberates at anode hydrogen gas liberates at cathode then what about these OH minus ions sir these OH minus ions here Na plus ions already there Na plus ions already there now here around this Na plus ions are there along with this Na plus ions now this OH minus will combine and form here small porous line you will have so at bottom you have sodium hydroxide NaOH okay NaOH you have NaOH caustic soda okay NaOH will form so this aqueous NaCl 10% we called as uh, brine solution so they will ask you electrolysis of brine solution the products at anode chlorine products at cathode H2 and at cathode one more product will form that is sodium hydroxide please remember this so along with this OH minus is Na plus will combine so two Na plus because positive ions these are negative ions and OH minus and converted to sodium hydroxide caustic soda so sodium hydroxide is forming at so very clear so please have a screenshot as I said at anode sorry why these many times I am saying don't think like a mad fellow this fellow explaining these many times no products are very important at anode oxidation takes place chlorine liberate at cathode water undergo reduction instead of Na plus when you electrolyze brine solution or aqueous NAC because water reduction potential is more than Na plus so water will undergo reduction instead of Na plus so water on reduction it gives H2 gas and OH minus so those OH minus ions aqueous only this is aqueous this is aqueous will combine and give sodium hydroxide so sodium hydroxide which was called caustic soda form at NaOH this is preparation of sodium hydroxide by Nelson cell so I given two things here one is electrolysis of fused NaCl one is electrolysis of uh, this aqueous NaCl both are important please note it down NaCl you are having here so electrodes graphite electrodes you have anode is a positive cathode is a negative what is the difference between previous one and now understood fused NaCl electrolysis sodium deposited pure sodium metal when aqueous NaCl means NaCl in water brine solution that on electrolysis you are getting sodium hydroxide and H2 at cathode anode there and here chlorine only please make a note and next we will discuss about hydrides halides carbonates bicarbonates okay then chapter will come in of course yesterday I mean in previous class only we had so one class only this is the second class so certainly we can finish easily so please go through this and please remember and don't buy it and have the diagram beautiful diagram and anode products and cathode products please remember why water under bond reduction please remember all the best please take care